all right welcome to this particular session with david samuel and on this video tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how to design um how to vectorize a simple logo using pixel lab so i already saved a sketch from pinterest and i'll be using that sketch as um as a manuscript or i'll be using that sketch as a reference to what i'll be doing here so now i don't actually remember the person that did the sketch so i would have given a um a shout out to the person now let's go this is the sketch this is what i got this is how i saw it so now follow me carefully we'll be doing something crazy this evening so this is let's assume this is your own sketch now so what are you going to do let's assume you have sketched this on your paper and you have snapped it you know after you sketch you have to snap it before you can bring it out like this so what are you going to do let's click on this place click on crop we don't want the other one we want only the sketch Follow me carefully. Look at it. So, okay, you save it. Okay. So, first of all, let's delete this test. So, this is it. So, now what are we going to do now? We have to save it. Save. So, now after we are done saving, after we are done saving, then we click on shape you click on this place first then you now see shape you click on shapes you first of all go down and change it to black change it to black so that you can see what you are doing this is black so now what i'm going to do we are going to increase the radius first increase the radius then use your hand to shift it like this you can see what i'm doing right i see it so now that is that is it for that then what i'm going to do next your opacity you are seeing here you take it to zero you take the opacity to zero you take the opacity to zero then you scroll down and see stroke width this stroke width you are seeing you now increase it are you seeing it now to 60 then okay are you seeing it so first of all let's still click on edit we are not done let's click on edit and bring it down so we are trying to make it fit in with the sketch are you seeing it are you seeing it right so now follow me carefully okay so what i'm going to do next i'm going to bring our sketch well sorry so i'm going to bring the shape our under shape change the color to black okay it so that's what i'm doing now i'm trying to make it fit in for this this thing is not hard if you know what you're doing are you seeing it and in case you're wondering i'm using my hand to rotate it this place you're seeing i've seen it you can use the normal rotate but I think this one is easier and convenient for me at this moment. So now this is it. I'm still I'm still using my hand to add to it. So I see it now. So let's keep that aside for now. Then, okay, I'll copy it. Keep this one. I'll add this one to it. Are you seeing it okay i think i need to increase this one then use my hand to crop the, the side so this is it right let's bring it down i'm using position right now this is position okay so this is it then copy again that's what i'm doing Can see what I'm doing. Can see what I'm doing. Just follow what I'm doing carefully. Sorry. There's a reason for this. I want to make it short first before I reduce it. 
and bring it close okay it's still remaining just follow everything i'm doing follow me carefully okay i think we should do it a little are you seeing it now don't worry just follow me carefully follow me carefully so we can zoom it so we'll be sure of what we are doing are you seeing it this is zoom you can see i'm getting it perfectly little by little don't rush it's not something to rush you'll get it perfect now you click on this number here after you have zoomed you click on this number and I click on the zoom again it will take it off so now what do we now do so first of all let's bring it another shape this time is going to be white and take it to reach this junction let's take it to this junction I seen it I think that is what it is yes I think that is what it means right okay first of all I need to be sure of what I'm doing let me check the sketch let's bring this I've not done this thing before let's bring the sketch up so we can see okay yes we are correct I've not done this thing before so now what are you now going to do? This is the white sketch. This is the white, white um, what is it called? Shape here. So what are you going to do? You click on layers and add everything together. Exclude. You not add the sketch together. Just add everything together. Then, you, then you click on this place. So now I'm done merging everything, and you can see it has become one. Everything is no longer plenty here again. It has become one. So what am I going to do? You click on layers again, and it will go off. Oh sorry i'm sorry let's go back click on this place to go back we need to add something i forgot so now you click on shapes you can see see shapes you can see what i'm doing okay this is this is the same thing we did that time then you copy the shape again and bring it down you still have something down okay Okay, now so you now go and copy and make everything you know make the sketch together with it then you click on this one this one at the middle okay then now what are you going to do next you now look for erase color this is erase color you click on it and enable it okay i think if you look at it closely you discover that we did mistake here sorry we did mistake there we are supposed to bring this thing downward Okay, let's bring it down. I used back. I'm backing it. So in case you are wondering why, how I'm going back, so use this place. Let's one. Add, let's one. Do it again. Mind you, don't mind my errors. I've not done this thing before. I'm doing it now, so you should not. Okay, you and I increase the tolerance to seventy. So now it's not remaining this middle. If you discover it's remaining something like this middle, this middle you are seeing, it's not like that. We need to remove it. So now we now bring in another white shape again this is kind of okay we decided to do the very simple one yesterday so you guys can you guys can progress with time so you can see so it's not that kind of basic but it's very basic for somebody who knows what it's doing except you're a beginner so now let's you can see what i'm doing right so this is me trying to get it out i'm trying to get amido out so now this is it i think it's okay let's add it made them together and erase color again erase color boom done let's go and delete the test let's go and delete no let's not delete it but let's make it invisible by clicking on this eye icon so this is what we came about i've seen it now this was a saved piece of lab you can see 
So let's see their own. Let's see what their own looks like. Let's bring their own. No, let's crop this one. Let's crop it and bring back the, the last one. Let's see what their own look like. So this is their own and this is our own. Does it look like? Yes. So you can see. I'm very sure that was not done with Pizzler, but you can see we achieved almost the same thing, if not the same thing. So you can see how to design logos and vectorize to vectorize sketches. So we just assume this to be a sketch. Actually, we we assume to be a, assume this to be a sketch. So you can see how simple it is. It's not hard if you know what you're doing. So that is it. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching too. And if this is your first time of visiting my YouTube channel, I'd like for you to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell to receive notification immediately I drop new videos like this. And like this video, share with your friends, and leave your review in the comment section. Thank you so much.